place for eh, a little over a year now. And every time I come up here, I discover something new, whether it be a new structure or just something hidden in, in part of the woods here. So a couple months ago, just spotted something in the woods and I, what the hell is that? So I went exploring and let me show you what I found. Check this out. That my friends is a hidden sawmill. So I drove out here one afternoon. And I said, what the hell is this? Well, you get all this cut wood. You got this wooden structure out here. I said, what is that? And then I go in here, it's a big saw. So this is a sawmill that was just hidden in the woods. So I guess what you do is that little pipe at the end there, you'd hook a tractor up to that and turn the PTO on and that spins the blade. And you would take your logs and you'd push your logs up onto here. And this thing slides and you'd make yourselves some two by fours or whatever. Am I ever gonna use it? Absolutely not. All I could see is an accident happening. I mean, this guy was using this sawmill up until basically the day he died. And this was an 80 something year old guy who was taking logs, putting them up here and making planks or whatever he needed to, to use around the farm. And I don't know what the heck this is. It says observation booth. What are you observing? This would be a good spot for Jeff to come and just do weird things. That's what I was thinking. Again, this is all hidden. I just kind of found it. Uh, you got a lot of cut wood, tires, extra fencing. I, I don't know what. I don't know why there are so many tires. I guess he was a tire collector. Is this a uh, Blair Witch Project thing? Maybe. Let's not find out. Let's go. Oh, uh, here we are coming up to one of the pastures that flush with cows. Look at them all just waiting for me. Hey, it's your buddy Riz. Hi guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi ladies. Let me uh, introduce you to the ladies. There's uh, 33 and there's 59 and 45 and oh, hi 97. Yeah, there they are. The girls, they're close because they think I'm going to feed them. But little do they know I'm going to feed off them. And look at the calf. Look, they just crap everywhere. They just stand there and, well, you know what they do all day? They eat and poop, that's it. Just eat and poop. Look at that one drooling. So the cows are on the field and they, and they graze and they're doing the lawn mowing for me. They eat, they poop, they eat, they poop. Man, I wish you guys were out here when the stud was out here and this stud was just running around, just trying to mount all the cows. And some cows were just weren't having it. Imagine that job. Just your job is just to be out on the, on the field and just have sex with things. You see what these damn cows, they crap everywhere. I got my tires dirty. So here's the deal with the cows. They aren't actually our cows. They're the neighbor's cows, the neighboring farm. So he pays us to put the cows on our fields so the cows can graze and do their thing. And he moves the cows from field to field. So they're right here now. Uh, in a week or two, they'll be on another side of the farm. And in a week or two, they'll be on another side of the farm. So they just kind of rotates them around and they eat, they poop, they fertilize our fields. They're doing the lawn mowing for me by grazing. And maybe uh, I'll get a couple steaks out of the deal, I don't know.